Yeah, goofy night vision. Oops, right there. Perfect. All right, now we're finally at a place where we can go down further. So we've got a path mapped out, so I should be able to get back here again. Um, let's turn these off for the moment. Take them off. All right. New area. Please don't be the finale room. Not the finale room. Cool. Now I need to... Uh, eh, I don't care about more antibiotics. Now I need to be there to be another floor down. <laughs> I need at least another floor. Library! Yes. Unlock. Yes. Quit. This is like the fourth library we've been in. Please, please, please have a book that'll get me out of this mess. I won't do it. Nope. 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 Glass blowing. <laughs> Under the hood. Some pretty good books. None of the ones that are going to get me out of this problem. Damn it. Um, well, at least I can get some more peanuts. Can't remember which of these I actually have already. Ooh, cashews. Definitely don't need under the hood anymore. Don't care about that. All right, electronics, first aid. Don't need the fab anymore, but uh, electronics and first aid are awesome. I actually might use that book. Um, not quite overweight, close. All this trouble just to find one single book. Not even one single book, one of like four or five possible books. Hey there, Mr. Turret. The longer I go without finding another stair down, the more nervous I get that I'm on the finale floor. Which would be kind of bad. Alright, let's see if there's a door north of this position. Yes, there is. Alright, unfortunately it's on the other side of the turrets. Oh crap, there's nowhere else to go. That's not good. That is not good at all. I'm in a dead end. Except for that stupid turret that I can't deal with because I can't... <laughs> I didn't bring the EMP grenades and uh, I don't have a gun that will fire that far. Great. Son of a... <laughs> can't go west, can't go south. There's no other doors out of the uh, library. I am trapped. And that's... Yeah, I'm getting a feeling this might be the finale floor, which is going to suck. Hmm... Um, I have no way of dealing with that turret currently. I'm about to go all the way up and come all the way back down again. Alright, well, that's not good. Theoretically, there's another ladder somewhere, or another stairs down, somewhere up to my northeast from the uh, 
map here, right there. I think that's where I came down or knew about a stairs down previously. So it's going to be in... It's not the one caddy corner, but the one to the right of that. So it's not this section, but it's this section. So, let's head up that way. Stairs up is fine. The old finger pick, lab journal smythe, we already have. All right, well, at least that worked out the way I expected. Let's go down over here. So we're back on the fourth floor. More ammonia. <laughs> Three gallons of ammonia in two rooms. This is the kind of room I need right here. Don't need ursine serum. Don't need uh, oxidizer. And I don't need a funnel, so... The room to my left is going to be the conveyor belt room. Hey there, conveyor belt room. <laughs> oh, I've been in too many labs. Dog kennel. Nah, I've got plenty of that stuff. Well, we got another floor down. Yay. All right. There's at least five floors. So that's that's good news. That tells me I'm not going to accidentally walk into a face full of bullets from a uh, sentry room, at least, or from the finale room. All right. This is over to the area that was north of that turret that roadblocked me a second ago. Well, hey there, other uh, CVM autodoc install room. Uh, and stairs down here as well. Alright. Shocker zombie in the back? Nope. No shocker zombie. Can't quite see because of the light arrangement, but shocker zombie would show up in there if I could see that far. Whoops. Computer world. Ten <laughs> more ammonia. Okay, game, I get it. You want me to have some ammonia. All right, so I know that's a turret. Um, north. So we should have a full-size floor here to explore. All right, this is another type of room that I'm hoping to find right here. Lots of shelves. Come on, purifier. I need purifier. I need books. Chemistry books, specifically. Nope. Not going to give me the love. Nope. No love. This, this room was one of the best opportunities, unfortunately. Um... Chemistry set. Um, hmm. let's grab it temporarily. I'm just going to drop it right here in the middle of the room. If I'm going to be brewing up mutagens, I'm going to need one. I probably need to take this out with me. Uh, mark, note, chemistry set. Sure it is, Breezer. Assuming you have the strength to do it, which I do not. 
You always play with strong characters, apparently. Whether you can uh, pull things around, furniture, crates, and so on, all depends on your strength. There are certain limits. I think it's like 9 or 10 for a bookcase and all that kind of stuff. Do, do, do. I use that opportunity when I have it. Alright, back to the do, do, do. knuckles. Alright, so this room's clear. We've marked the chemistry set. I'll have to come back for it at some point. Right now, it's more important that I keep finding my plate or my books. Lots of stairs down. <laughs> Salt water. We can make some more jerky. All right, north or further west. Go north first. All right, three by three grid. No love, no love, no love. A whole lot of no love. Yeah, they're giving me the rooms with the uh, countertops, but they're not putting anything on them. <laughs> and more stairs down. This is always my fear when I play with my reduced item drop rates is that I'll get into this kind of a situation where my entire run is just me waiting around or pursuing a random drop that the game just continuously denies me <laughs> and it just gets kind of old after a while. Really? Hey there, Bloodstains. Hey there, turret. It's definitely a turret in here because of the change in the ground and the light. Hey there, Mr. Turret. Killed a scientist, did you? You're going to keep on killing him over and over again, aren't you? Whoops. Somebody's coming in after me. Oh, hey there, Brute. Where'd you come from? I'd really rather not fight a Brute, especially if something just hammered my leg. Alright, Mr. Brute, how do you know I'm over here exactly? We're in the dark currently. Hmm. Can I put this on fast enough? Nope, I cannot. And we're about to have a broken leg. Son of a bitch. This is bad. So, we left some books behind. Um, How this guy is following me so well, I'm a little curious. Scent shouldn't be that accurate over that distance. And where he came from, I'm also curious. <laughs> um, Maybe we can get him killed via the turret here. He'll probably step past it faster than he'll get killed, unfortunately. Um, let's go ahead and close these doors. We'll turn on the repair nanobots. Fix my leg, please. Come on, fix it. Fix it, I said. <laughs> fix it more. All right. Nanobots off, sensory dulling on. Get rid of that pain, please. I do not like the pain. Come on, less pain. Thank you. All right, 
<laughs> I should probably go re-power up before I go mess with this guy again. At least I still have my crowbar. All right, pretty much back to full strength. Yeah, we've got the uh, joint torsion ratchet and the strength and the uh, joint torture ratchet and the furnace. The combo of the sensory dulling and the repair nanobots is really powerful, so I'm, I'm trying to take advantage of that. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I'm also tired and thirsty and all the other good stuff, but. Uh, I was really hoping to get that guy's attention to bring him through the turret here. But now he's decided to wander off on me. Hmm. Let's throw the goggles back on. Um, get the knuckles back out. There he is. Hey, dude. Come this way. Perfect. All right. Take off. Activate goggles. Take off goggles. Move body out of doorway so I can close door. And smash body. Brute taken care of. That's the kind of simple thing you can do to try to help you stay alive inside of a, uh, a lab, by the way. If anybody new is watching, use your environment. Take advantage of uh, turret placements and zombie movements and so on to uh, get the zombies killed. Lure them into the path of turrets. Lure them onto dissector plates. Um... Goo pits, all that kind of stuff. Things you can do to uh, get rid of pesky guys like that. Alright, let's go back and get our gear. Oh, he came out of the prison. That's what's north of me here. This is going to be the prison area. Yeah, alright. Nothing up there for me. Apparently all those guys want out of prison. Nowhere else to go. It's a dead end up there, so prison has no no escape, so we're just going to head back south. Okay, next up, we've got a door south and west. Another barracks. That's a bit unfortunate. Let's check downstairs, see if we drop into a finale room. We did not. Yay. I'm going to check each room adjacent to this just to see what kind of floor plan and if there's a stairs down to warn me that I've got even more room to explore. Uh-oh, turret? Nope, no turret. Just a bunch of goo pits. Alright, uh, two exits. I'm not going to explore up down here for the moment. What do we got left? That wall right there, I guess. We're done all the way up to there. We're done around here. Done down there. That's the library I couldn't get out of because of the turret with that position, so 
unfortunately, this room is the last room I can get to. We've got the door here and the door here into this room. And that might be the end of this floor, which will really suck. Oh, finale room. <laughs> hey there, finale room. So this is going to be one of the containment rooms, or is this the... It's not the prisoner containment. Hmm. Well, I can't afford to spend even a second down here. The room's lit up. So if a uh, sentry bot steps around the corner, I'm going to get shot to death. But I I'm encouraged that there's man hacks out and a scientist. Hmm. If it wasn't for the light, I would stick around, but... No turret emplacements. There was um, sentry bots. They'd be shooting the scientist. He's in cloudy... Nope, he's in bright light. But what's, what's actually fighting... What's hitting the scientist? There's acid splatter. So what is creating that? Well, he did that with his acid vial. So what's killing the manhacks, and what's he fighting? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Hmm. I don't think I can afford to find out. Map, note. M set, and... Down to finale. No, well, I'm not even gonna put no turrets. Ah, <laughs> that, those things traveled a long way to come after me. Wow, that hurts. I'm actually afraid of man hacks, given the amount of damage I'm taking now that I'm tiny. Little bastard. Yeah, they're doing like a full bar damage each slice. That's a lot. All right, we're not overweight. Get rid of all the negatives again. Two scientists. I'm so tempted, but if I move, I'm so afraid that a stupid sentry bot's gonna pop up, spot me, and shoot me to death from range. I'm wearing no clothing whatsoever, <laughs> so it's instant death if a, if a sentry bot is around. I think I might go east, try to smash this light. I think that will darken enough of the area. Not quite enough. Let's lead this guy back upstairs. Man, if I have a bad round of fighting that uh, a couple of these man hacks, they could uh, chop my legs or arms off pretty quick. Let's just go down without the duffel bag for now. Another man hack. <laughs> Arg. Look at that damage! Oh, bio operator! Hey there, bio operator! You I don't want to mess with. You will take me apart. All right. I need to not have a bio-operator show up right now. Woohoo! Man, it takes a long time to put that duffel bag on. These no bio-operators.
wonder what my actual hit points are currently. This is rough. Alright, this thing I've got to kill. It's too dangerous to let them run around without me knowing where they're at. Even if it's going to take me some, some damage. Failed, failed. Um, I think I'm going to have to make the run back up. Very hungry, very thirsty, tired. I've got to bring a uh, gun's the only thing I can think of is going to take care of that guy. Yeah, there's lots of stuff here I can eat for power. 600 power for the man hack, huh? Alright. That's interesting. A lot more power than I thought would come out of that. Um, This one... Erg. So we know where the finale room is. yet know how big that floor might be. I still want to check out the one floor here. I'm going to stop messing with that finale room, finish what I was working on. Alright. What do we got over here? And does it go anywhere else? Well, that's not good. <laughs> that goes nowhere. Little tiny room. So, well, we're done on this floor. There's nowhere to go here. No exits out of the room that had the turret. No, no. There's the barracks. The prison. That's it. Uh, this is the last room on this floor. So that I'm not excited about. <laughs> Lots of stairs down. Well, I'm not sure what happened here. All right, we're dead. <laughs> I didn't get another move. Good times. Yeah, step downstairs. I didn't get any other moves, and uh, he just shot me. Death to a turret in a lab is not anything new. The only thing that annoys me is most of the time I have an opportunity to go back up the stairs before I get killed. Yeah, I didn't peek down. That's true. There is that option, so my fault, but I, I just can't bring myself to peek down every set of stairs I walk down. Having this kind of thing be a possibility is just ugh. Um, yeah. <laughs> Rip Tetsuo. No, you can peek down without Z levels. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. The problem was just that. With the turret, or with the finale room found, it wouldn't even occur to me to go around and peek down the stairs constantly. I so, so seldom run into this kind of a room where it's in range of the turret and I, and my condition is such that I don't get another action before it gets to shoot me. Uh, I mean, I didn't have very many hit points. Even a single bullet was probably going to kill me because anytime I get shot by turrets, it's always in the torso and the head. Never hits me anywhere else. I don't know why. But, um... Yeah. Oh, well. 
I got the food situation fixed, only to have that happen. I was starting to get a little annoyed anyway, because like I said, the run was done with the sole exception of the one book that I needed. And I hate it when my runs devolve into just the random number generator just denying me over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> so that part's not cool. Um, but we survived the initial hard part, which was the uh, very start where we've got the negative bionics and uh, the genetic downward spiral combining. So we managed to survive that part, get a vehicle, get all the gear, get good skills and stats. So I'm not overly worried about the uh, run coming to an end. I don't like ending runs with death to turrets in a lab. I think it's a cheap ass way to go, but... Technically, there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, it is a death. It's valid. I could have peeked down the stairs to know that this was a possibility. Um, so the tool was there to avoid it. I just choose not to use it very often. So, especially when I already know where the finale is. It's almost always the finale room that scares me about this possibility. Um, usually when I'm dying to turrets, it's because I've stepped out in front of one while I'm just exploring rooms accidentally. Um... Most often when I go downstairs, I see the turret and I can walk back up and everything's fine. We just keep on moving. But for whatever reason on this one, my action point combination with being tired and tiny and so on, I stepped down the stairs and uh, apparently it used up all my action points and I didn't get an opportunity to step back up again. So yeah, the run was going to be over as soon as I found the book anyway. So the, the run completion was just basically finding one of the books. And we'd already been in, what, five mansions, several labs, and just random number generator was keeping it from us, so. See you, Tetsuo. We don't have too impressive a kill list, I'm sure. Kill count 375. Not bad, considering the type of start in the character. And the world settings and all that. Hmm... Alright, see ya. Good old hardcore cataclysm. Uh, I'm gonna think. I wasn't really anticipating starting another one this quickly into this evening. We're about two and a half hours in. I need to take a quick break before anything, just so I can get the bad taste of yet another uh, random turret death out of my mouth. <laughs> um, What does low span of item add? I'm not sure what you mean. You mean item spawn? Um, world. Uh, I play almost all of my games with lowered item spawn rate, meaning a lot less items in the game world. So it's harder to find the things that you need to stay alive. So if I play on a 1.0, the normal default setting, it's just, it's, it's stuff everywhere. It's too easy for me by, by a long shot. So all my game worlds are usually increased zombies, way lowered amounts of items, and various other things to make the game a lot harder for me. So, <laughs> yeah, why ATD? Yet another turret death. Or yet another lab death, I guess, would also fit. Yald. <laughs> Let's come up with a better acronym. But, um, yeah. Mainly it's just for difficulty factor. So, yeah. There's, there's the world settings I was using right there. So I had 25% uh, more zombies. Only half of the items spawned in the game world. Wander spawns on, all that kind of stuff. Plus the characters I build are almost always fairly heavily gimped in some way. I take the absolute worst traits that you can possibly take and try to find fun combinations to uh, keep things interesting. Um, but yeah, it's all basically just to give me some kind of a difficulty factor. Standard default settings are just way, way too easy for me um, in any kind of a gameplay. So let me take a quick break. I'll think about what I want to do. I hadn't really planned on another startup here, but uh, we'll see what we can find. There might be another one. If anybody has an idea that I haven't done before that's uh, fairly familiar with my work, let me know. But let's go ahead and delete GDS. That's the genetic downward spiral. I think we got a pretty big, pretty good feel for what the GDS does. Um, the counter for it is just basically staying alive long enough to get the uh, ability to make purifier. So, delete world. Goodbye, GDS. All right, I'll be back with you guys here in just a few minutes. We'll figure out what we're going to do next. <laughs> 